these are the two I'm scared to diss Tupac back rappers of my generation. I mean, keep it a bean. I love Nas. I love Jay. But these are the two I'm scared to diss Tupac back rappers of my generation. That's a fact. Go back to 96, 97. We all said they were scared. When Tupac was dissing Nas and Jay, we didn't say, oh, Tupac is beneath them. That's why, that's why they didn't respond back. Because Tupac is beneath them. No, that's not what we said. We said they were scared. That's what we thought. We thought Mob Deep was the only one with balls enough to even respond back to Tupac. That's what we thought. Mob Deep was the only one with balls enough to even respond. Period. They were the only ones with balls to even respond. Nas and Jay, we look at them as scared. We look at them as scared. Nas talking about, we look at them as scared. Nas ain't say shit. He's so scared of death row and them. He start dissing people from Queensbridge, Cormega and Prodigy and them. Like, seriously. He ain't want no smoke with them death row boys. He even said on his song that he, he was even seeing his niggas had death row East shirts. Shit. Rough Rider still a Tupac slang. Ride or die. Like, Tupac was all through there. Tupac had more shooters in New York than them niggas. Jay-Z had more money than Tupac. We didn't see all this. I'm the big CEO. I'm about to pull the big CEO card over you because you're so beneath me. Hell nah. Jay-Z had more money than Tupac when Tupac was dissing him. He ain't do none of that. Matter of fact, Jay-Z was so scared, even all the way up to two, two years after Tupac had died, he was still running around talking about, is everything that's invisible gone? Scared to death. 